five hours after this horrible crime. What do we know about the suspect in the hospital tonight? Fox senior correspondent Rick Leventhal is on the ground in New York City, and he joins us tonight with an update. Rick? Well, Tucker, we know his name, Saifullo Saipov. He's an Uzbeki national, so born in Uzbekistan and made his way to the United States. He was 29 years old. He is 29 years old, uh, born, I'm told, in February 1988. And authorities apparently recovered a driver's license from Florida. He's apparently spent time in Tampa, Florida. May have also had some New Jersey identification on him. Beyond that, the New York Post is reporting that he was an Uber driver. And friends say he was a nice guy. Uh, but what he did today has already been identified as an act of terrorism. And we were told early on in, in this investigation that the truck that he rented, uh, a U-Haul rental truck, he drove it onto that West Side Highway bike path and drove down from Houston Street down to Chambers before he ran into a school bus. And you see the damage to the front end there. Uh, initially, law enforcement sources told me the truck was rented in Jersey City. Apparently, uh, that's a corporate office. That's where they first tracked it to and then found that it had actually been rented from a Home Depot in Passaic, New Jersey. And that's where you see the, the van there surrounded by crime scene tape. Authorities obviously tracking whatever vehicle he might have driven to that Home Depot, uh, looking for any evidence that might uh, suggest why he did what he did. And obviously, Tucker, they want to know who this guy had contact with, uh, who he spoke with online and elsewhere, and who else might have known about this, and perhaps who else might be plotting something similar. Of course, Tucker, here in New York City tonight, the Halloween parade ongoing. Uh, up to a million people expected and security extremely tight here across the city uh, with uh, heavy weapons teams, sand trucks blocking cross streets, and a lot of extra police officers on duty, on guard, on rooftops and elsewhere on the lookout for any possible follow-up attacks. And the governor told us earlier, Tucker, also that airports, bridges and tunnels and other places would be uh, even more secured moving forward just because we don't know where this goes from here. So you were the first one to report that this guy yelled Alu Akbar as he exited the vehicle. Did a lot of people hear that? There were witnesses who heard it, uh, and there was uh, law enforcement nearby. I'm not sure if that's, uh, that was one of the, uh, the reasons why they were so quick to, to tell, tell me yeah. that. But, uh, in fact, multiple law enforcement sources told me that they, do, they did hear this man or someone heard this man yell Allah Akbar when he exited that truck after the accident and ran off, as you saw in that video there, into the intersection. He was holding two weapons that looked like guns. Uh, one was a paintball gun and the other one was a pellet gun, but they looked like weapons. He was flashing them and it wasn't clear if he sh fired th those weapons, but that's one of the reasons why the NYPD shot him. I was told he yeah. was hit twice. He's uh, recovering in a hospital in one of the hospitals where some of the victims were taken, Tucker, and, and obviously in very different places inside that hospital. The whole thing is bizarre. Rick Leventhal, thank you for all of that. Sure.